We want to be able to use artificial intelligence to automate machinery itself so that potentially in the future we might have tractors that are fully autonomous, basically robots in the field uh, that can not only navigate themselves but can also detect obstacles and get around obstacles and that kind of thing. Alex Thomason is a biological and agricultural engineering professor at Texas A&M and says that beyond that, artificial intelligence can be used to help farmers optimize the inputs they put into the field. So that's everything from irrigation water to you know pesticides, herbicides. Where should they be? How much should we put out? When should we put those things out? Uh, all those things can be optimized at ultimately at a finer and finer level. Today we kind of tend to do things on a whole field basis or even a whole farm basis. Uh, farmers that are using precision ag technology sort of break their fields up into management zones. Uh, that's a great thing to do. I think as we get further and further in this, we're going to see those management zones get smaller and smaller. Thomason says that there are a lot of companies now that are collecting all kinds of data. There's the My John Deere system where your tractor, your harvester sort of automatically uploads data to the cloud. And there are things going on in those cloud-based systems where they analyze data from everybody and they use the, the artificial intelligence uh, analysis to enable them to learn more things that they can help individual farmers with. Uh, you know, they might recommend a, a particular variety of, of uh, cotton or corn or wheat. Uh, or they might recommend particular methods of, uh, of production. I'm Sho Inkley, looking at Central Texas agriculture from the ground up. From the Ground Up is sponsored by Producers Cooperative, proudly serving agriculture since 1943.